Hi, I'm Lorna Simpson, and we are here in my studio in Fort Greene, Brooklyn. So certainly in terms of the 1957 images, um, that was a project that happened kind of by accident in buying an image of a woman um, who was leaning up against a car, or maybe it was two images from someone on eBay. And before I received them, they sent me an email asking me, well, we have a whole album of just images of her kind of posing. Are you interested in them? And I said, sure. I had no idea of kind of what I would do with that, but I thought, well, how fascinating is that um, as someone's project? So I bought it and then pinned them up on my wall in the studio. And they kind of sat there for about nine months and like friends would come or, you know, or, you know, people pa in passing would go, oh, that's really interesting. Go, yeah, it's really interesting. I don't know what to do. <laughs> but that is, isn't that fascinating? Um, and it took over the course of time to figure out like, well, what would you do with that as a piece other than it being someone's archive of a project of kind of performing for the camera. And so that is a very interesting process to me. And I kind of, not all the pieces come about that way. Um, and certainly it would be crazy of me to rely on that being the way that to make art or to make work. But certainly when it does work like that, it, it does mean it's like taking a moment to kind of step back and uh, be conscious of the things around you. But also in that engagement, there isn't a timeline of completion or isn't a timeline of resolving how things get done. They kind of work themselves out. So that's in the midst of doing things that have a different pace. That kind of work can be very refreshing when it comes along that way. I have hundreds of images of different things. Um, uh, of photography um, out of my just my own curious curiosity and I think in some ways um, imagery makes an impression on you so you know if I look at something and I'm completely fascinated by it I kind of just allow for that fascination and think well if it's something that's going to turn into something else or make me think about other things that will come